This video is number 15. We're going to be solving word problems with the equation. Let's go ahead and get started. First, take out your sheet, your homework sheet, video 15. You should look like this. Okay, we're going to practice, um, take some terms there first. And then we're going to practice some um, word problems together. And then you have two to do here at the end of the video. Okay, let's take a look here at the terms. Terms first. Variable assignment. We're going to just give that um, the initials VA. It's what you're solving for. It's the question. It's the unknown of the word problem. Okay. Usually that's found um, with the question mark in the problem towards the end of the towards the end of the word problem. The next one is the equation. That is the e. We build an equation um, with the right side, the number side first. That's the equals the number, and then we build the left side. That's the, that's the expression side. That's the side with the variable. It's easier to do the right side. Okay, and then we'll build the left side. Okay, and then the solution, S. We use the algebra rules to solve the equation that we just built to figure out how many or how much of the variable that we're solving for. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, um, our first problem, 15 less than number K is equal to 22. What is the number? Okay, well, it says the number is K. So identifying the variable, assigning the variable sign is already done for us in this problem. Okay, if I highlight it here, okay, it says a number k. Okay. So we're just going to keep our variable k. Okay. k okay, is the number. That's what we're going to say. So on your sheet, go ahead and put for your variable assignment, k is the number. Now we're going to build the equation. Okay, One of the key words to look for in building an equation is the word is. Okay, here it says is equal to. 222. Well, is equal or is means the equal sign. And then everything equals what? 22. Now we got to build the expression side. Okay? That's this piece here. 15 less than the number k. So that's why we were building expressions in the video before this. Okay, 15 less than the number k. Well, that expression is k minus 15 equals 22. And once we have our expression, our equation built, now we just use our algebra rule. We add negative 15, okay, at its opposite, and now we're going to add 15 to both sides, and we're going to solve for k. These cancel out. k is equal to what's 22 plus 15, that is 37. Okay, so what is the number? The number is 37. Okay, this is where we start. That's the question. That's what we're identifying the variable for. Okay, number two. At a restaurant, Mike and his three friends decided to divide the bill evenly. If each person paid $13, then what was the total bill? Okay. You go to the question. If you have a highlighter handy, okay, let's highlight that question. Now, we, from this question, we got to figure out what we're solving for. What is the unknown? The unknown is the total bill, right? So that's going to be our variable assignment. Okay, that's going to be our variable. We're going to do T is for total bill. So we identified it. Now we're going to build our equation. We start with our equal sign. And we read through the problem and see what every what it equals. Okay, Mike and his three friends decide to divide the bill evenly. If each per person paid thirteen dollars, then what was the total bill? Okay, well, our total is what everything equals. So T is going to be over here by itself. Okay, now what we have to do is build the the left hand side. Mike and his three friends. So how many people is that? That is four people. So that's going to be four people paying for the total. So that's going to be four times 13. So our equation will be four times 13 equals T. Okay, and then let's just solve that. Four times 13 is 52 so that's going to be their total bill. Okay. The 
let's go ahead and um, go on to number three. Okay. Michael has a total of 92 coins in his coin collection. This is eight more than three times the number of quarters in his question. collection. How many quarters does Michael have in his collection? Okay, so go to our problem, okay, or our question. Read the question first. Understand what's being asked from the problem. We want to know how many quarter. So our variable assignment, we're going to use Q. Change the color there. Q is for number of quarters. Okay, and then everything equals. He has a total of 92 coins. So everything equals 92 coins. 92. This is, then we go to the expression piece. This is the expression. This is eight more than three times the number of quarters. Okay, so we got to do eight more than three times the number of quarters. Eight more means we're going to do eight plus three times the number of quarters. So it's going to be three Q equals 92. And now we just solve. Add negative eight to both sides. So this cancel out gives us 3q and 92 plus negative 8. That's 92 minus 8. Carry or borrow, I'm sorry. 12 minus 8 is 4. So that's 84. And then our last step is to divide by 3. So 3 goes into 84. Twice, subtract 6. 2, bring down to 4. We get uh, 3 times 8 is 24. So Q is equal to 28. So that's how many quarters? So 28. And then we put in our label, quarters. So that is our answer. Okay, and then the fourth one here that we're going to practice, okay, Laura's build, uh, building a patio in her backyard. She buys 40 pa 44 paving stones at a flower park work, $7 for a total of $73. Um, $73. How much did each paving stone cost? You go to the question. Let's highlight it. How much did each paving stone cost? And then we got to give it a variable assignment. I'm going to use S is for paving stone because that's what we're trying to figure out. How many? How much does each of those cost? S, or S is for paving stone cost. Or we could do C is for cost, whatever you want to do. Okay. To build our equation, we start with the equal sign. And what is the total of everything? The total is right here of everything is $73. So that's going to go on the right hand side. Now, what equals $73? Well, the 44 stones. So it's going to be 44S plus the $7 flower pot, right? So we're going to add 7. So there's our expression, our equation. We're going to add negative 7 to both sides. Draw our line. The 7s cancel out. 70, or, excuse me, 73 plus negative 7. That's going to give us... I'm going to do the math here. Or, um, different signs, difference, right? So 73 minus 7 is 6, 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. So it's going to be 66. So 44S equals 66. Okay? Now we've got to divide by 44. So S is equal to, well, 44 gives me 66 uh, one time. So subtract 44, we're left with 22. Bring down a zero. 44 goes into 22 five times. So subtract 220. So each paving stone is a dollar fifty. Each paving stone costs a dollar fifty. Okay. What I'd like you to do. 
problem number five. Okay, I'll copy this one down, set it up on your paper. Okay, pause the video. Okay, and then you can go ahead on pause it and check the work. So go ahead and pause the video, work out the problem. Okay, now that you've unpaused the video, go ahead and check your work. There's your answer. Should be n equals 20 there. Okay. And then for problem number six, okay, copy down this problem, set it up, pause the video, solve it, and then on pause it to check your work. Okay. So you have the video paused, on pause, and now let's go ahead and check that problem. Okay, here is your work. So um, Jimmy is 16 years old. Okay. Well, thank you for doing your homework tonight. I'll see you in class tomorrow. We're going to do more with uh, equations, building equations for more problems. Okay, bring your questions, please.